Hello everybody, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. So, today's video, as you saw by the title, is a full face using new products. So today is Thanksgiving. Um, I don't know if this video is going to be up today or around Thanksgiving today or tomorrow, hopefully. Um, so this is kind of a Thanksgiving inspired look. I am going like obviously to family's house. So this look is kind of for that. So we can call it that a little bit. My curls are a little bit like really tight right now. They're fresh curls. So I'm trying to let them like just chill and hang out. So I have this headband on and cause we don't need foundation in the hair. But yeah, I have so many products here that are just brand spanking new that um i want to share um so yeah let's just get started so um the first products is obviously primer and i actually have two new primers i have this mini mac prep and prime strobe is that what it's called prep and prime natural radiance base luminizer looks like this i got this from my ipsy and then i actually have this coconut water cream helps hydrate smooth and recharge um from hello fab I got this as a sample, or no, with my points from Sephora. So I really wanted to try both of these, but I don't know which one I wanna try. I think we're gonna use both. We're just gonna use this one all over the face. Ooh, it looks like that. I put a lot, it's really liquidy. Oh my gosh, I'm scared actually. So you know what I think? I think I'm gonna let this one sink into the skin. Um, because it is like moisturizing and I can feel it like soaking up into the skin. I'm gonna move on to brows while this sinks in and then I'll go on like with my normal routine. So for brows, this is a new product, but, um, and by the way, that primer feels really nice and I'm kind of in love actually. It feels really good and really moisturizing. Um, but for brows, I actually got again the e.l.f. brow pencil in the shade medium brown um so i have used this before but it's kind of new like i just bought it and i actually broke the cap which is annoying but anyway i hope you guys don't mind me speeding through that real quick but omg my brows like are kind of living and this brow pencil costs two dollars guys two dollars it's, it's literally the best brow pencil I've ever tried. And um, I think it's the shape of the brow tip. It is like pointy, but not like small. So it looks really nice. <laughs> yeah, it's a really good one. <laughs> super nice, super easy, super creamy. I'm obsessed. And then for, I'm going to do this later, but I have a new brow gel, which I'll do a little bit later. We're just going to go back to the primer. So I'm actually just going to take this MAC primer a little bit of it and put it right on kind of my cheek area like just right here because this is where you put highlights so you'd want it more radiant right there but I don't want to put it like in weird spots in my face you know I don't know I don't want to put it all over that feels good too Whoa. okay so then I'm just gonna do foundation and I am gonna just skip through this because sadly I do not have a new foundation this is the only product that is not new yeah, I'm so sorry, but it's it's because I have a hard time finding a good foundation that is my shade, so I just don't worry about it. When I find a good one, I keep that one for a while, but this is Maybelline Matte and Poreless. You guys have seen this before. I'm so sorry. I'm just going to skip through this and we'll move on to concealer. Okay, so then for concealer, I actually got this from Shop Miss A, AOA Studios, whatever. It's just a wonder cover concealer. Um, I have the shade Beige. It looks like it could work. It might be a little bit too light, but hopefully it works a little like semi it's not it's kind of going on like not creamy like very thick which i don't know if i like but it was a dollar so it actually looks like it's a nice shade match for me oh yeah that's good it's actually blending out a little easier than i would have thought because it is a very thick but that just might mean it's full coverage. Looking over here, guys, my mirror is back here. Um, no matter where I put it, it just looks awkward when I'm looking down, but I gotta see my face because the camera lies. Okay, I'm actually really liking this concealer. 
the shade is nice and the coverage is nice it's just it is really thick so that's kind of annoying but like I might be able to get past it if it looks good all day okay so next is powder and I have two new powders um, one is this Ciate London loose powder extraordinary translucent powder it's really small so we're gonna try to just set the under eyes with it hopefully and then I have a pressed powder to try on the rest of the face but I put on a lot of radiant primers and I might need something a little more matte so we're gonna see if I need to pull my Rimmel stay matte or my essence one but for now we're gonna try this one so I'm just pouring it into the cap like that. It's a really small little thing, so it's really hard, but we're gonna just let it rock. Okay, oh my gosh, wait, that is really pretty actually. I put it on like two seconds ago, but look at how smooth it looks over here and look at like the difference. That is really nice. What the heck, I was not expecting to like it that much. Loose powders bother me because they take too much time. And then even this one's small, so it's like it takes even more time because you have to do everything. It takes everything takes longer because it's so small. This is so pretty. Oh my gosh. That is so weird, like how fast that you can just tell something is nice. You know what I mean? When it's really good, you can tell for real. And this is really good. I'm kind of living for the way it made my under eyes look. So that is a win. Thank you, Ipsy. This might be something I have to repurchase in a big size because look how little this is. Okay, so next, I'm kind of really loving this conversation, com conversation, combination. <laughs> next is this e.l.f. Prime and Stay Finishing Powder. It's just a finishing powder. It is color, like sh there is shades to it. So I have light medium, which looks really, why can't I open this? Which looks really like looks pretty tan um but i was really looking for powders that just there wasn't a lot of product in them because i like trying new things but powders like for your money you get a lot of product so that's a really good thing for people who you know use want to use the same thing over and over and over again but personally i like trying new things and so i wanted something small that i can just you know use for time being or but this is so pretty actually it's not putting down color at all really and so i kind of like that um it's kind of just setting my makeup i am though gonna i do like this that was the first time i used it but um it is nice so i am gonna take my rimmel stay matte and put it on top just i don't want it to be too too powdery but i just want my um makeup to last all day and that one is not a mattifying primer it's like a like a foundation powder foundation right. next is bronzer i'm a little scared for bronzer because bronzer is something like so specific so i have one from shop miss a um from amuse cosmetics this is just a matte bronzer in the shade it, they were like number so this was like number four or something like that i don't know but i also have this la girl pro face powder you guys have seen this before but i haven't really used it and so i think i'm gonna use i think i'm just gonna mix them because this one is a has it says matte but there's some shimmer in it so i don't know and they both don't look like they're gonna be exact matches so we're just gonna kind of just gives a light bronze to the face nothing too harsh which is what i usually like um there's not much to be said really it looks really pretty there's nothing like bad about it i don't think it just adds a light bronze, which actually like kind of makes my face look really nice and natural, which is what I kind of really love. I keep touching my hair, I'm sorry. I told you guys my curls are just needing to be like calmed, basically. Okay, so I kind of like this combination of bronzers. Um, This one I think is might too be too light for me on its own. So mixing them is nice. And they both are pretty powder. So if you have a shade in either of these, I suggest them. They're really nice. They're really light. And they're really easy. And they're both inexpensive. So if you just want to try them, they're really nice. I think they just like light and lightly bronze the face. Like I only said 12 times. So I'm actually going to jump to eyes because um, I want to match my blush to my eyes. But anyway, 
I have two new blue eyeshadow palettes. So I have this Huda Beauty um, Ruby Obsessions. I'm ecstatic. And then I'm also so ecstatic for the um, Too Faced Tickled Peach Palette. I did mention this in another video, but I haven't, I haven't used it on my channel. I've used it in real life, though. Um, I filmed the three looks using this palette, but I didn't know if I was going to post it or not. Anyway, I have two palettes to play with, and I'm so excited. This is the sweater I'm wearing. It's kind of casual, but... Um, I figured we can do something really nice with both of these palettes. So I'm going to just start. Um, I'm going to start with this cream white shade from the Tickled Peach palette. It's called um, Peach Bum. It's just a white shade and just set my eye with that. I didn't put on any primer because I don't feel like it, but... Okay, so I just set my eyes with that cream shade, like I said. What I think I'm going to do now is take this shade down here. It is called peach spice this tan shade and just blend that into the crease easy one two i do i love this palette and i freaking wanted it so bad um it is a great like amazing palette amazing quality easy easily blended i do like Too faced shadows um i did i have i was decluttered where is it i decolored the decluttered the Too faced chocolate chip palette but i was gonna sell it because nobody in my house wanted it um but nobody bought it anyway um i still have that one so i keep i kept it obviously but um so the Too faced quality shadows are good i just think that their choices sometimes are not that good like in shade ranges but i think this one is amazing like whoever thought this out was really thinking good so next one i'm gonna do is i think i'm just gonna jump right in so i think i'm gonna take okay you know what i think i'm gonna do i'm gonna take a flat brush like this um i have this color switch from AOA which I just got it's kind of really nice and I really like it um, and it works so if you ever have the chance to grab it go ahead and do that I'm gonna take this shade right here they don't have names but it's just this shade over here and I'm gonna blend that on the oh my gosh that's so pigmented I'm nervous put that on the outer corner and then blend it into the crease it's not gonna be too pigmented on the outer corner because I am using a fluffy brush but that is pretty oh my gosh if you guys know, like, I just love me some maroons and, like, those shades, on burgundy shades on the eye. They're just so pretty, and I do it all the time. Um, and so I just needed this palette from the 21 Days of, not 21 Days, wow, from the uh, appreciation sale. I was like, ugh, I need that in my life. It was between this and the Tickled Peach palette. I went with this one. Um... But then my roommate just got me the other one. So now I have both of my dreams and I was so excited. So I'm gonna just go back with my um, fluffy brush once I find it, cause I always lose it. And just blend out the crease. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take, I'm so excited, this is so pretty. I'm just going to take the same brush, actually in the same shade, and run that across the lower lash line while I'm here. Just because it's pretty and doesn't take too much effort. I was thinking of putting a deeper shade in the outer corner, but I think I'm going to keep the same shade and just get a packing brush. Yeah, I'm just going to take the same shade, so this one and here, and put it on the outer corner. Just pack it on so it's a little bit... Oh yes, girl, I knew that was going to happen. Just pack it on. These shadows, I only use one from the Huda Beauty palette, but they are. This one is really blendable, and it's one of the darker shades. And usually in palettes, when the darker shades are the harder ones, like they don't blend as easy. And so I'm really glad that this one is just packing on really nicely, blending really easily. Like you guys can see, there's no. I had no issue at all. Just gonna blend that into the crease a little bit just to make it a little bit darker and then the moment we've all been waiting for the shimmer i want to take this one i think this one in the middle i definitely do i'm gonna take that one in the middle and i'm not gonna spray my brush i'm just gonna i don't know how to use this do i just i'm like swiping it in there I'm like swiping it i don't know but Oh my gosh, what the heck? That is so pigmented and gorgeous. 
I'm kind of shooketh. I do personally, I'm, oh my gosh, that is so pretty. I'm just one of those people, I don't like the feeling of a dry brush on my eye. That's so weird, but I'm like, it's going on gorgeous, but I just want to wet it because I feel like it just go, it feels nicer on the face when it's wet. I don't know, it's so weird, right? So obviously we're going to do the same thing to this eye. I'm like so excited. This shade is so freaking gorgeous. What the heck? So I'm going to take the same kind of brush that I just used. Um, and I'm going to take that purple shade and run it on the lower lash line just so it's a little bit darker because you can't really see it. Oh my gosh. That is just so pretty. I got a little crazy, and the maroon isn't the same maroon on my shirt, um, but that's okay. So we have some mascara. I actually have two. Um, so, okay. This one you might have seen me in a video before. I can't remember if I've used this, but this is the Tarte Maneater Mascara. Again, my roommate gave it to me, but I don't remember if I used it in a video or not. I'm going to be using this one today, though. Um, I also did get a new, a different new mascara, which is the Clinique High Impact um, Mascara. I don't know. Um, I got this with some points uh, at Sephora. I was really excited because I really wanted to try this. But um, I don't want to open it yet because I have, like, three or four mascaras open already. And I'm like, I just, I don't want to have too many open and then have to throw one out. I'm already thinking that I have to throw out my... Um, my L'Oreal one because it's just like my waterproof one because it is starting to act funny. I don't know. I'm not going to get into that, but I'm just going to use the Maneater one. Um, I'm going to curl my lash. I have used this mascara before, so it's not like super new, but it might be new to you. I don't remember um, if I've used it before, but it's just so pretty. Look at how long my lashes look. That was like two seconds. I'm like, I need to get this in a full size, actually. This is so pretty. I do wish it had a little bit more curl to it because it makes them really long but the curl is just not entirely there I mean you can it's, it's awesome but I do wish it had a little bit more but I do like this this is definitely a win um on the high end part I don't think the Too Faced one is worth the money um I've talked about that a little bit before but this one is I don't know how much the price is of the actual size, but I think like even just the sample is really nice. I need to get a lower lash mascara because my lower lashes are so small. Big mascaras just, are, oh my gosh, are so awful. Okay, so now that we're here, um, I am just going to do my new brow gel. So, it is the NYX Control Freak Brow Gel. I haven't used this. I've had it for a while, um, but I just haven't used it because I was waiting for my Essence one to run out, which should be up soon, but it definitely ran out. So, uh, I was excited to pull out this bad boy. It already feels really nice. Um, it's not as wet as the Essence one, which I don't know if it's better, if it's better or worse. We'll see, I guess, at the end of the day, like if my brows are. This looks nice, though. It keeps them like fluffy, but like also tamed. It's kind of like really nice actually. Okay, so we need some blush because I'm looking a little bit pasty. So first blush here is I actually did buy this one. Um, I really wanted to try it. And I don't know why I bought it, but um, it is this AOA Studio Lumi Radiant Blush. You can get it from Shop Miss A. It is a baked blush, but it also is a radiant blush. So I wanted to try it and see if like I'm kind of into this because they're only a dollar and they look so gorgeous. It's kind of like the Laura Geller ones. So I wanted to try it. I also got this from my Ipsy. This Lottie London Blush Crush Blush in the shade Zach. Um, looks like that, which would be also really pretty. Oh my gosh, I have too many pretty options. So I also got this Bang Beauty Blush in Smoke Peach. This was from, I ordered it from Depop. We traded, but oh my gosh. I'm the worst trader ever. But anyway, we traded, and so I have this um, blush here that was in the set that we traded in. So I want to try that one. That one's pretty, but I don't know. It's kind of too peachy for today, I think. But it's pretty. 
And then I also have, oh gosh, see, too many blushes. I have two more. Um, this also, These two also came in the set. Um, this is the Balm Springs blush. They're in these little like things, but they're still cool to try it. Um, and then I have Cabana Boy, which you guys know is like iconic. It looks like that, but I don't think I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna use a mixture of those two. Let's do it. Oh my gosh, I forgot to use this. I also got this um, stippling brush from AOA Studios and I've been using this one, they came in a duo, um, and I've been using this one for highlight. It's my favorite highlighting brush, which I'll use in a second, but um, this, I wanna use this for my blush, I think. Ooh, I don't know about this one, guys. Just gonna try, like dip it in there a little bit just to see if it gets a light like color in it, but not too, too much. And we're just gonna, Oh, that is pretty, but it's pigmented. I barely, you guys saw, there was barely anything on the brush, but it's so pigmented. Okay. I'm obsessed with these blushes, actually. Um, Lottie London, thank you. This is really pretty. It's really, the packaging's annoying. I wish it came in like an actual case, but that's okay. I mean, um, it came in my Ipsy, so. It's not like Lottie London had control over that, you know what I mean? Like it's probably Ipsy's thing, but this is so gorgeous. I need a fluffier brush just to blend it out a little bit, but this is kind of really gorgeous. I am going to add a little bit of the Lumi blush just to see a little bit of this. Oh my gosh, that's pigmented too. I'm scared. Just a little bit. Oh. My stomach keeps growling. I'm starving. I'm just going to take my powder brush and just blend all my powders together. And then what I'm going to do real fast is just take my Morphe Prep and set and just... I put on a lot of powders today, so I want them to melt in the skin before I put on my highlight. Okay, so for highlighter, oh, am gee, again, I don't have a lot of highlighters, but I did buy a whole set of Depop that I traded. So the first one is this Milk Makeup holographic highlighting powder um it looks like that i'm not wearing this today but it is holographic <laughs> there was only like i wasn't specifically like wanting anything specific from this trade i did really want the balm little minis um and i actually have another one for the highlighters which i really wanted to try but i just wanted to try different things and there's a couple of things that i was really excited to try from this trade so and i was getting rid of stuff so at the same time so it was like a win-win um, this is the e.l.f. Shimmering Highlighting Powder, which is again be traded, um, which looked kind of cheapy, but um, the highlighter is right there. You can't really see it. E.l.f. I have heard bad things about these highlighters. Um, I don't know if I'll try. I might try it um, because you never know. You can't take everyone's word from it because people's um, makeup, people like different kind of makeup. But anyway, next is this Wet n Wild Highlighting Bar. Yeah, I don't even know if they sell these anymore. This is in like their mermaid collection. So I think that was like summer. But um, we can swatch her. That is how it looks. Right there. It's really annoying. Um, but one of my, the products came broken. This is the highlighter. One of the products came broken. And so it broke all over everything. And so if you can see, there's like red. It was a blush. Yeah, I would have had another blush. But it bro like there's all that powder in there is from that blush. The reason why this is like tinted red is because of that blush. And this is dirty because of the blush as well. So it's annoying, but whatever. And then last but not least, I just showed this is the Mary Luminizer highlighter, which I was in so excited for. Um, it just looks like that. I've heard nothing but good things about this highlighter. Oh my gosh, it is so pretty. It's over here. I think I just swatched it on top of foundation, so you can't really tell, but we are going to definitely wear that one today. So I am, I love this brush for highlighting. It is a stippled brush, but it's like long and skinny, and I just kind of swirl it in like my highlighters. And then just apply it to the area, obviously. Oh, that is pretty. It is really light, and you guys know that I'm tan, <laughs> clearly. But it is really pretty. This reminds me, oh my gosh, is the Essence Pure Nude Highlighter a dupe for this? Because they remind me of each other. <laughs> this definitely reminds me of the, um, I'm just trying to help out my 
stuff here but this definitely reminds me of the essence pure nude highlighter maybe just a shade but i also like the application it looks very similar if you can see that like it's not too heavy but it's also like not subtle like it's very specific i don't know and it's funny they're probably dupes for each other wow kind of live for this i mean i'm gonna dip into the elf one it is a little bit darker so it might help not leave a white cast oh that's pretty okay elf i thought i was gonna hate this but i'm kind of liking it i'm just gonna take my fluffy face brush and just blend everything in together like usual i'm not a big highlighter person so i'm not picky um that's just how i am so this is pretty whatever okay so for lips um i have two new lip products one is from aoa studios this is the wonder matte liquid lipstick in the shade hype it's pretty and it's kind of pinky so i don't know if i'm gonna wear it and then i have this make lip gloss which i wore in my ipsy um unbagging i tried it on so if you want to see it go in that i'm not gonna wear it today because it is very pigmented and it's not gonna match very well i mean it could actually but i don't want to wear it not in a liquid, I'm not in a lip gloss mood. I want liquid lipstick so it lasts through all the food I'm about to eat. <laughs> so this is the uh, the AOA one and this is really nudie pink. It might match. We're going to try it on for this video because I want it to do a full face of new products. But I think I might switch to my, oh my gosh, wait, I actually, this is actually pretty. Wait, what the heck? I'm speaking too soon. I keep speaking too soon. I don't know. We'll see in a little bit if I switch it. I was thinking of switching it to my Huda Beauty um, liquid lipstick because that one, I love that lips liquid lipstick. But this one's pretty and I do like the way it applied. I don't like the smell. This, this doesn't smell good and neither does the concealer. But um, it is really pretty. I like the shade too. I don't know if I like it with this look. Um, because I am kind of wearing like three different shades of like pinkish reds. Um, but I don't know. It's really pretty. It hasn't dried down yet. But it feels like it's going to dry down really nicely. And I'm kind of really excited. Because these were a dollar. And I'm definitely getting more if they it looks really nice. For now, that is it for this video, guys. I don't have a new setting spray, which I also forgot that it was. Um, so I'm just going to use my... Um, Actually, I'm going to use my Urban Decay All Nighter so that this makeup lasts all day. Mm. So, guys, that is it for this video. I really hope you enjoyed it. Um, I'm going to go fix my hair a little bit, just a little bit of touch up. So, that's it for this video, guys. I really hope you enjoyed it. Today's Thanksgiving, so don't forget to be thankful for everything. <laughs> don't forget to be super thankful. Um don't take anything in life for granted because in a second it could be gone um and i don't say that to scare you i just say that to just be thankful you know even college i used to pain in my rear end but you know i'm thankful for it because um who knows where i'd be without it so that is it for this video guys really hope you enjoyed it um i pray you pray you have a blessed day and i will see you in my next one bye guys